Hey, it's Diane Lee from Teach Pre-K. Um, I'm going to show you some of what I do for literacy centers and activities and just liter literacy elements I have around my room during my Polar Animals unit. Um, first, I've always got pocket chart strips with all the different animals. I've got the Arctic Fox, Emperor Penguin, Orca, Arctic Hare, Polar Bear, Snowy Owl. I've, I've got them all right here. So I have a little um, pocket chart tent that I always have up in my classroom. And I fill them with these, but I'm sure you have some kind of pocket chart system where you could display these or maybe even on a word wall or like if you have a wall that you use for your theme, these would be great for that. And these are in my five day lesson plan. Almost everything I'm gonna show you are in my five day lesson plan for polar animals. Some of the things are from a story structure close read unit that I have for the mitten. So I'll leave links to both of those. Just check the previews um, just to make sure you're getting what you want if you're interested. Okay, along with those, I always have uh, theme posters that I put around my room and I've used these cute ones with the clipboard I mean the clipboard excuse me with clip art um, these are exactly the same as my pocket chart uh, vocabulary strips uh, same animals same images but I have since changed and I am going for real pictures and these are not in my uh, Polar Animal uh, lesson plan yet, but I am updating this either later today or tomorrow. So you will get a notice if you have my lesson plan already or if you wanna get it today, um, you'll get a notice from Teachers Pay Teachers when I update the file with these. So I've got a few of these. I have Emperor Penguin, Polar Bear. I haven't even laminated this, which is great because I don't get the glare from my ring light. Um, Orca. Arctic Hare, Arctic Fox, which I love the Arctic Fox. I think it's such a cute animal. Uh, snowy Owl and Reindeer right here. So I just, just, just made these seriously two minutes ago, but I'm gonna add these to my lesson plans and do a little update. So those will be in there if you are interested. Um, some of the other things that I do are, I've got these cute little uh, clip the sound card. So all you need for these are clothespins. I have just plain clothespins right here and I have tons of them in my classroom. So this is pretty low prep for me. But each little polar bear has a picture. This is Apple. So the kids say the picture and then we look at the three letters below and we just clip the one that goes with the correct sound. Excuse me, the correct letter for the sound. Um, so like here's a B, so it would be B. And I try to use as many pictures relating to polar animals as I can. There's not like a ton, but um, I do my best to put those in there just to add even more and more vocabulary. But included in my lesson plan are these really cute polar animal alphabet cards. We've got um, X, we've got for the Arctic Fox, W for walrus, why Yeti, I love Yetis, um, N, Narwhal, etc., etc. So every letter of the alphabet has some kind of polar animal or polar animal related picture on it. So those are in my lesson plan and you can use those for so many things. Another really cute literacy center I have is an uppercase lowercase match, but when you match the letters, you make a polar animal. Like uppercase W, lowercase W makes the walrus, uppercase E, lowercase E makes an emperor penguin, uppercase N, lowercase N makes a narwhal, P, uppercase P, lowercase P makes a polar bear, and so on and so on. So there you've got that to a good letter matching activity if your kids are not ready to do the beginning sound activity. With all of my lesson plans, I include one of these little uh, colorable folding books. So you leave it flat, you color the pictures, and then it turns into this little cute emergent reader book. So it's polar animals, penguins, polar bears, 
seals and walruses, narwhals and whales. So that is a really great activity. My class loves to color, my pre-K class especially. So it is just a fantastic activity for that. My pre-K also is really into doing rhyming games. So for polar animals, I have these little yetis with this little frame and inside is a picture. I'll always go through all the cards and I'll tell them what the pictures are um, before we play the game. And then I separate them out into um, like two separate little decks so they can find the match, which will be the rhyming word like zoo rhymes with glue, uh, mouse rhymes with house, tie rhymes with fly, pear rhymes with bear, and so on and so on. And I think I've got, gosh, 20 to 30 of these cards. So there's a good amount of matches for a small group rhyming game. Every Friday we do um, literacy journals. So we are kind of at the end of our unit and we will be talking about what we've learned. And I'll always end with like my favorite polar animal. This is my journal page. This is in my lesson plan. So is that rhyming game I just showed you. So far, everything's in my uh, lesson plan that I've showed you. So my favorite polar animal, they put the name on the, the bottom. You can fill in the date and then they draw their favorite polar animal. This one is macaroni penguin. And you can have them write that. You can um, write it down on like a whiteboard and they can copy it. Or if they know how to write already, they can do it or they can just leave it blank. I let my kids do what they're comfortable with doing. I start to challenge them a little bit more to write on, on their journal pages uh, the second half of the year. But if they're not ready, they're not ready. Another really great letter game that I do is I've got these kind of seek and find mark the letter sheets. The, uh, they come in uppercase and lowercase. And I also have these little letter cards in lowercase and in uppercase, every letter of the alphabet. So you could do a straight match and use the uppercase letters with the uppercase page, or you could make it a little harder and use the lowercase letters. They have to find the uppercase letters or vice versa. So you can do a straight match uppercase to uppercase, lowercase to lowercase, or mix it up and have them um, have a little bit more of a challenge. So what we do is we would like flip a card and they need to find the A. We use the little bingo daubers, but you could use a marker. You could laminate these and use a button um, so you don't have so much paper waste and so much paper going home. But I just like to use the daubers. The kids like them too. And you find that uppercase A and you just mark it with your little bingo dauber. And you just do as many letters as they know or the whole alphabet. With my pre-K, I would do the whole alphabet at this point of the year. I think they can handle that. With my preschool kids, we do letter of the week. So I would do all the letters of the week that we have learned plus first letter of all of their names. So I'd pick those cards out of the decks and that would make the um, activity go just a little faster. In my Teachers Pay Teacher store, which is called Teach Pre-K, my freebie for right now is this fantastic mama and baby polar bear letter match. So you see that mama has uppercase A and nope, that's not her baby because that's lowercase C. Nope, that's not her baby. We've got to find the lowercase A and we found her baby. So every letter of the alphabet is included um, with these big mama mats and the little baby mats. And one thing that you could do too that I was just thinking is you could take those alphabet cards and make them match those two. Or you could take the sound cards and they could um, find a matching sound picture that goes with that. But these are absolutely free in my Teachers Pay Teacher store and I'll leave a link to that too in my description. So um, one of the biggest literacy things that I do during Polar Animal Week is we read the mitten, we perform the mitten, and we do some fun mitten activities. Now I have a lot of different activities. I have one activity in my lesson plan and then I have just this fun thing and I could make up a template and send you this right away. I don't even know where I got this. I think I got it from a, um, another teacher friend of mine, but this is my mitten is so big a blank could fit in it. 
And there's a couple different ways they can do this. They can just color the mitten and tell me what would fit in their mitten. And it's like a dump truck could fit in it. But my pre-K kind of would want them to write what would fit in it um, and actually draw a picture of what would fit in their mitten. I had one little guy go, Mrs. Lee would fit in my mitten. And I thought that was really cute. But so there's lots of options with that. Um, when we perform the mitten, I get um, a table and I cover it with a white tablecloth. And the kids are wearing, um, I laminated the masks from Jan Brett's website and I'll leave the link here. And I just punched holes in them and tied a string around them so they wear them around um, their chest. And I'm just thinking, I don't know where they are. I have my, my lesson stuff in, so I'll have to find those. But we put on a little mitten play. I'm the narrator. Uh, if we have enough kids, someone's Nikki. If not, I'm just Nikki or one of my aides is. We start with this mitten, white as snow, it's small, um, and we end with this big mitten. But what we do is as we read, the kids have the animals on a little placard around uh, their neck and they go under the table until we get to the very last one, the mouse, and then they all scatter out from under the table, which is our mitten. And we finish the story with uh, Baba looking at the the big giant mitten. Another mitten activity we have is I've got this little mitten that they can color and cut out and I just staple it onto a brown paper bag. And in that, I have the pictures of all of the animals that they can color. And then we can use this as a story retelling kit. So all of the animals are in here. This is in my five day lesson plan and it is a great literacy activity. So those are just some of the things I do for literacy during Polar Animals Week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching and maybe you'll love one of these ideas and links to everything will be in my description. Thanks. Hey, um, I needed to add this in because I noticed I don't have my characters from the mitten. So I thought I would print them out and show you just how beautiful they are. You will be stunned that this is free. It is free from Jan Brett's website. You just need to print them out. They're gorgeous. Um, so this is the rabbit. And what I would do with this is I would just cut around it after I laminate it and punch some holes in it, put some yarn on it so they could put it over their head and it would show that they're the rabbit. And I'd do that with all of these. So let me show you the rest. So there's the rabbit. Now these are stunning and I have a really great printer at home so they turned out even better than my old ones. The owl, the badger, the hedgehog, the fox, the bear, and the mouse. Um, so I will leave the link to those. And when you explore her website, you're going to just, your mind's going to explode because there's so many beautiful things on it. But I'm also going to see if I can find the chunky board book for the mitten, because then when you do the performance, it's not as long as the original version. And it's a lot easier to get through and the kids won't get as antsy. So it's just perfect if you want to do a little mitten play in your classroom too. But there you go. That's my favorite literacy activity for you. This is the craziest video I've ever done, but I just remembered I did a whole uh, story stretcher unit on the mitten um, and I just could not not share this stuff with you guys because it's so great and fun. So in that unit is um, this fun little fun facts about the animals of the mitten. So you get pictures and five facts about every animal that you see in the mitten and um, there you go you get the uh the mitten that you color the animals and you put the animals in and of course you get nikki's snow white mitten letter match so uppercase to lowercase letters so there you go whoops let's put the thumbs together so you get the whole alphabet with that and um, there's some vocabulary cards pop pocket strip cards. Um, I made a little see it match it game, which is just like the game spot it if you're familiar with that. 
each little uh, circle will have a picture on it and all of them are animals from the mitten and you just have to like match like one of the animals that you see. So fox and fox matches on that one. Mitten and mitten matches on that one. And um, we have got Nikki and Nikki on that one, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so that is another fun game. And I think I've got to turn around and grab one last thing to show you. Um, in Jan Brett's book, she always has on the side a little preview of what's to come. And this says the mitten will show which animal comes next. Color the animals when you see it. So you could do this in whole group or circle time or small group that they've got to really, really look at the book to find the animal and then color that mitten or that animal when they see it. They can even mark it with an X. You could use daubers, anything you want, but that's also included in my mitten story stretchers and I'll leave the link to that too. I just absolutely love the mitten. It's a wonderful story. The kids love the animals. They love the pictures. Like I said, we act it out and they absolutely love acting it out. Um, there's a lot of fun things that you can do with that book. So I'll also leave you the link to the book. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm.